Hey everyone, Hatmaster here, and let me tell you, I could not be more excited for the announcement of Smite 2. In this video, I want to talk about some key points about Smite 2 along with my opinions. Now, many of you may know I've been a long time player. In fact, I've been playing since December 25th of 2012, and here we are roughly 11 years later with the sequel being announced. I want to address many common concerns I've seen about Smite 2 while also giving my opinions as a long time player. So let's start off with the obvious. What is Smite 2 and why are we getting a sequel? Well, before we get into that, we gotta talk about Smite 1 first and the history of it. When Smite first was released, it was released in 2014. However, the alpha was way before that and the first announcement for Smite 1 was at PAX for 2011. And here's what Smite used to look like. Here it is, the trailer for Smite in 2011 when it was first announced. And you can just look at it and you can tell, wow, that's an old game. Well, guess what? Smite today still runs on this engine, Unreal Engine 3, which Unreal Engine 3 was released in 2006. It was not meant for a game to last as long as Smite has. And as far as my understanding is, according to dev streams, uh, they currently use a custom modified version of Unreal Engine 3, and they have pushed it to its absolute limits. What you see today in Smite is its pretty much cap and I don't believe they can push it anymore so I'm gonna go ahead and say I am very for Smite 2 I think it's necessary and yes Smite looks very different today but I'm comparing alpha footage to what we are seeing in Smite 2 for alpha footage I think that is fair and also I just want to emphasize that what you are seeing here is what the game is running on today okay now I want to further this point if you go and Google Unreal Engine 3 and you go to download it, guess what Epic Games says? They say, hey, don't do that. We don't support Unreal Engine 3. It was meant for previous generations. Use Unreal Engine 4. And I mean, hey, they got Unreal Engine 5 now. And guess what? Smite 2 is being built on Unreal Engine 5. And that engine is very good. It is very good at what it does. And it can support Smite 2 for a long time. Probably a lot longer than Smite has somehow lasted on Unreal Engine 3. I'm actually amazed it's ran so good for this long and had the support it has, but it is time to upgrade. So let's get that straight. But what about my skins on Smite 1? Now what Smite is doing is for every gem you have spent in Smite 1, you will get that same amount of gems in Smite 2 as legacy gems. You can use those legacy gems to purchase up to half of a skin in Smite 2, so you'll still need some of the new currency, but you get a 50% off coupon, which I think is very good. Not only that, but if you purchase the Founders Pack for Smite 2, they will double that, which I think is insanely generous, and if you don't think so, I am here to change your mind about that. First of all, to be very clear, this is a new game. This is not like the Overwatch 1, Overwatch 2 situation where it looks the same, where it's the same engine. This is jumping from Unreal 3 to Unreal 5. They cannot import skins from Unreal 3 straight into Unreal 5 at all. I mean, they can for the, the essentially the models, but that does not include most of the work for a skin because most of the work for the skins come out with visual effects. They come with the custom animations that may not work in, in for Smite 2 because they are, as they are creating the game from the ground up, a lot of little things they're changing about gods will be animations to make them look and feel better. For example, here's On Her All in Smite 1, and here's On Her All in Smite 2. I think one looks way better and has a better feel to it. This is also the perfect time for them to go back and look at old gods and be like, how would we do this today? Now that this god is out uh, however many years later, and they have a lot more freedom on Unreal Engine 5. They have been talking about how much easier and faster it is to make a god in Unreal Engine 5 that is objectively better. It is better than Smite 1 and it, they were able to develop it faster. Which now we're going to get to the point of, okay, what about all the gods in Smite 1? Well, they're not going to all be in Smite 2 right away. However, they have said that they will release old gods at a rate of one per week, which is insanely fast to me, especially at this quality. And not only that, uh, by the time they release it, I think they want 100 gods, and this is not including new gods they will be releasing in Smite 2 as well, such as Hecate. 
Also, what they've mentioned is that some skins you will be able to get 100% with Divine Legacy Gems. I think this is a very fair system to old players who, quite frankly, may have made purchases to this game 10 years ago and they're still getting value out of it for an entirely different game. That is more than generous. And I'll let them explain it themselves why that would be so much work to recreate every skin from the ground up in Smite 2. Currently, because we want to make sure all the content that goes into Smite 2 is strictly better, it takes about two months of work to get one skin from Smite to Smite 2. And that's if we just port it with effects, without making other meaningful improvements. As of today, there are about 1,600 skins in Smite, excluding mastery skins. To just port every skin to Smite 2, it would take about 246 person years of work, and we couldn't do that and make Smite 2 as amazing as we knew it could be if we started fresh. So anyone still mad about Smite 2 and not having your skins? I don't really know what to tell you except keep playing Smite 1. Smite 1's gonna stay up, so there you go, you got your skins there. Not only that, but realistically, what is the other option? The other option is they don't make Smite 2. They keep it on Unreal 3. And honestly, maybe it stays around for another few years, but I just don't see the future with it on Unreal 3. Smite being rebuilt from the ground up with the experience they have to make the game the best it possibly can be with today's technology is the best for the future of this game. To everyone who screamed at high res all these years, and I'll admit, I've said it sometimes, fix your game, this is it. This is how the game gets fixed. They now have so much experience creating a MOBA, creating Smite, that they can do this right. They will do this right. And that's also why they're showing this footage so early and why they're, they want play tests this early on. I mean, they, they, they've talked about how they could have instead waited until they had all the gods ready, but they need player feedback from Smite because they want it to succeed. High res, high res is Smite, you know, to Smite to high res is their money maker. It is their most successful game. It always has been. It's been what's kept them afloat all these years. And they are betting that this is going to work for them. And I believe in it. I believe in this decision. And I think you should too. So now I'm going to talk about my content coming to the future. I would say this is a return of Hatmaster. I want to I wanna do more content, I want to do more streams, and while it's still a little difficult, well, I'm, I've got a full-time job, it's what I want to do. I mean, I'm really inspired. I feel like the future of this game is strong. I didn't feel that way before, and now I do. First things first, finish out the Guardian Gauntlet. Second things, I want to make a edited video for every single Guardian in Duel. Now, ideally, it would be a montage for every Guardian that I haven't done already. But if not, I could do a versus video that I edit down. I think those are fun too. But I, I would love to get those done as well as getting every Guardian Diamond, which I somehow haven't done yet. All I ask for you guys is to keep an open mind for Smite 2. So many more things are possible. And the better the game does, the more resources they'll have to do things. Because who knows, maybe Smite 2 blows up and then they're like, you know what? Because of how good it's doing, we will bring over tier fives i'm not gonna say they're gonna do that because for example tier fives take a huge amount of coding behind it not just art and that would take away time from developing uh the you know god kits and bringing all that over but who knows i mean if the game's really good it has more resources they can do more things just keep an open mind and i look forward to making content for smite 2 and also returning to smite 1 and doing more stuff there too I'm very happy, and if you have any concerns or questions, leave them in the comments. I'm going to leave a link to more info about Smite 2 below, and thank you for watching.